Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a central control module um, replacement on a Ford Focus. So first we're gonna remove all the trims. So I just made one here. So just let's just be careful. So that's out. Okay, and there's a small connector in here. You just have to press the tab on the center, pull. And next, when I don't know if this one can come out. Oh no, there's some torx uh, screws here. So we're gonna remove that. Uh, let me grab my bits so this is what we're replacing it's like the module for the audio unit so the customer was complaining that I think the what do you call it the audio unit doesn't work so um, what do you call that they tried to update it I don't know and start that's what the problem start to happen so he went to the dealer and it's, it's too expensive for him so I guess that's why I'm here right now to help him out to just to save some a little bit of money so let me see so that's a t25 Torx for the two screws that's holding this um, is holding this panel here one and there should be another one here so maybe we can strike prime this one and just be slowly No. Okay, I have to remove that. Oh, I'm just try moving this.
little more those things. I just tried to pull the, I guess I have to remove this trim piece first. Just. Oi. So, let's be careful with that. It's so thin, the plastic piece. So, next is... Oi, I have to remove this. Why is so much? To remove man so another torx um, screw here um, under uh, what's the bottom of the shifter knob so okay oh yeah so let me put this in neutral okay now I'm just gonna remove so I guess I, we have to remove the AC control unit so there's some connectors there I think there's three connectors just push the pin and you can remove it oh yeah. one put it like that and then remove this now why is it so tight though You just have to use a good pry tool, a plastic one, and just squeeze it in the middle of this, um, on the dash and on the trim piece of the audio unit. And then just start pulling it slowly. And that should come out. And there's another connector here. There's one for is this a connector now? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a connector. That's for our hazard switch. Where's the clip? And there's one for the other connector at the bottom. Okay. I remove this. 
so when you remove this whole piece there's there's a one connector at here underneath of this trim piece and there's one more connector here so on the other connector the top one as you can see oh where's my okay you can see it there so there's a small tab here so I just use flat screwdriver Now, where's our module? Okay, so let me remove this whole piece here and see if our module is underneath there. same um, Torx bit it's T25 so I guess Ford uses all T25 okay I don't think this is the one so maybe it's underneath in here let's remove the screen how do we remove this remove this to use a gun but um, I'm just gonna do on everything on hand Can we pull this? Okay. So we pull it slowly. Oi. What? Oh no. Don't tell me I have to remove the whole thing. Because the thing won't fit. Why? I'm gonna force that. Um, let me grab my gun so it's faster. My gun. I'll just be careful not to drop the screws. So there's four screws in this one. If we're gonna remove the or the whole thing. screen okay so now oh, so it's underneath okay it's there so now oh, there's some connectors here for our uh, for our module I don't know if you can see it this one here there is a big connector there so you just have to remove that let me remove it first and I'll show you Good 
goodness. Let me remove this thing. It's out. Now we can flip it. Oh, that's much easier. So, so I just removed the the mounting bracket for this LCD. So these are connectors here that we have to remove. After that, as you can see, these are part that we need to replace. So we're gonna transfer the new one in here. And it's just using a Phillips screwdriver to hold into the LCD. And then let me remove this, this connector here, because that's going to the module too. Wait, why are you so tight? So I'm just gonna move, remove three screws in it. Call John? What? Huh? Are we going or? Oh, let me and grab my coffee though. Huh? My coffee. Whoa, whoa, what? My coffee. What yeah. coffee? My, on the bench. The oh, green. Okay. Yeah. If you're gonna go. So here's our piece. And every time you replace something, just compare your new one to the old one. Just make sure I, there's no missing. I know this one has a missing one on the new one, but I don't think we have a connector that, for that one. So I think that should be fine. Uh, just make sure our pins are all almost the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the new one. So here's our new one and now to install it we have to well let's put the connectors first so don't forget this connector here click and, oh sorry oh. still seeing okay good and our connectors here so this should be one big one, small one like that this one and a very big one okay. 
now because we have to put this on first before installing the see the thing so let me squeeze this in My goodness. Like that. And like that. Okay. And now before you put that in all the way in, let's just hook this in like that and put everything at the same time. There you go. So I'm just gonna put all the screws back. Okay, now so I'm just gonna put my screws back. So any type of control module, I guess we have to program it. So I'm going to send it to the dealer to program it. And that should be it. And let's see if our screen and audio unit are all working. screws holding for that after that put our trim piece back for this one oi why why am I there? Oh no. Make sure this one is in the center there. back on okay. oh my goodness 
this. Let's click on this one. Click and then what else? Oh, we have to remove this. Oh, we have to install the screws on the side. connectors for our the RD unit side so did I miss something? oi oh this is for the center one okay Screw. Hey, hey, hey. So, I guess you have to install this unit first. This trim piece before you put the screws on this side here. One more here, bottom. <coughs> and this trim piece, oh, there's another two, two screws there. Last piece, this piece here. So
There we go. Okay. So, that's it, guys. Um, let's see if it still needs uh, programming. Let me just try to turn it on. close that let me just ask me later how to turn on this audio unit um, okay. so at least it's working now let's just double check all our controls there you go so it's all working make sure that we didn't Whatever we remove, at least it's all moving, so. Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, so that's how we replace the, they call it APIM for the audio unit for the Ford Focus. So comments, suggestion, please put in there and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching